out there currently at the noon hour. Meteorologist Zach Duhame in for Dan. Good morning or good afternoon, I should say, everyone. A nice shot at Six Flags. I love this camera. I just, I'm a roller coaster guy. So Six Flags, roller coasters, you have to, you know, they work pretty well together. And earlier we had so much fog in this camera, you could barely see the roller coasters. It was ominous. Now the fog is lifted, but the clouds are out there. A little bit of a breeze. See the flags slowly kind of swaying back and forth. So 38, though, that's pretty mild for this time of year, for this time of day. 38 in Springfield, 43 in New Haven. 37 in Albany, 38 also in Portsmouth and Keene. So mid to upper 30s, low to mid 40s across the board. A couple light sprinkles or flurries possible. We had a steadier band a couple hours ago that kind of since broke up near Albany. So right now, just some scattered clouds, just mist or sprinkle or flurry. But that's about it. No major weather issues today. You'll see the hour by hour forecast for the future cast. I'm going to keep clicking the button because it's the same rinse and repeat, 30s, maybe around 40 degrees, a sprinkle possible maybe overnight into early tomorrow morning. Most towns should stay dry. And then we have another round of maybe more steadier showers. See that coming through Thursday evening into early Friday morning. Temperatures, though, noticed well above freezing, so most likely all of rain. And if it's a little any mixing, probably being the Berkshires, likely no accumulation this time as temperatures just are cold enough for that this time around so new year's eve right now mostly dry i was telling amanda a little while ago i had to change the forecast up i think there could be a shower or two in a couple spots near e new year's eve evening but mostly dry and actually warmer than we expected maybe some 40 plus degree temperatures but by new year's day we have a big storm coming back from the west cutting well inland which means this is a rainstorm we have the winds pumping off the ocean maybe 50 to 55 degree temperatures yeah this is now january going to be in no snow with this one, number one, round one. But then behind this, it drags colder air in it by Sunday afternoon. And we have another little low that may try to form. The question is how close, if it forms a little bit further to the south, <clears throat> we get more cold air, we have a chance of seeing a little bit of snow. Now, if it forms too far south, it's just way out of the way and it can't do anything with snow. Or if it's too far north, like Saturday storm, it's a rainstorm. So we have to fine tune this forecast, but the chance is there for a little bit of snow Sunday evening into Monday as the second storm eventually gets the cold air with it and that could produce the potential for a little snow. Plenty of time to track that, but regardless of what happens with that storm in terms of the snow, it will bring in plenty of cold air. The jet stream takes a big dive in the south early next week, so this produces temperatures that are likely going to get stuck in the 20s and low 30s, which is actually well below average, which should be in the 37, 38 degree range. The bad news for snow lovers, this year's storm track, see that? OTS out to sea. We wanted to kind of be like right in here and kind of come up towards New England. And then we get a big storm, big snow. If you're a snow lover, you know what I'm talking about. This is a pretty zonal pattern, so it brings it out to sea. So we get the cold, but right now we don't really get too much snow, at least it looks like right now. So for New Year's Eve forecast, happy New Year's. Well, not yet, but I actually upped the temperature. It was like 35 earlier. I went to 42. It looks like we have a warmer push of air, unfortunately. I put the question mark next to dry. It could be a couple of hit or miss showers or light mist. I don't think anything of any significance, but it may not be completely dry. So if you're heading toward New York City, for example, it could be a little bit of showery activity, but the temperature of 42 degrees, really no nothing to sweat about or to freeze about because this time of year we've had historic New Year's Eve where it's been either very rainy, snowy, or I think a couple of years back it was like 10 degrees, much better this year and more tolerable with temperatures in the 40s. So the extended forecast as we close out 2021 and enter 2022. Again, a shower at possible Thursday morning and Thursday evening. Friday dry for most of the day. Could be a sprinkle around ball drop time, but 40s at that time, not bad. Saturday, heavy rain, 54 or 50s on Sunday, then sharply dropping that temperature down by the evening. Could end as a little bit of snow. We'll have to watch it closely. And look at that. The first two days, or the first full week, I should say, starting off of January 28 and 30. It's going to feel like the teens. Yeah, Amanda, winter.